this last week, I put out a video about the Jonathan Majors trial in which we went over some of the text messages shared between uh, Jonathan Majors and his ex, Grace Jabari. And not just texts from like the initial, the, the assaults that he was arrested for in March, but stuff going back to a prior assault in September. And comparing those painted to me a very clear picture of Jonathan Majors as an abusive person, serially abusive. And that video came out and for a couple days in the algorithm, it kind of languished. Uh, it had a couple hundred views, I think, at first. But then, well, why don't I just take a look at where we're at today? So the video is called Jonathan Major's career is done. His abuse went on for months. I, I actually did change the thumbnail. I had somebody uh, express concern that the previous thumbnail was trying to capitalize too much on uh, Grace Jabari herself as a victim. So I changed it to just to focus on Jonathan Majors. But uh, we've got 1.8K views and look at that ratio. I've got 21 likes and 136 uh, down votes. Now, I will tell you, I've looked at the back end and it is far, far more than that. I have 110 comments and probably about 100 of those are negative. People did not like my coverage of this. Now, why? Well, as it turns out, some video footage that was evidence in the court was released to the public that seems to paint a different picture than the narrative Grace Jabari had initially claimed for the assaults that happened in March. Oh, you don't need to apologize, Dragon Knight Dragonborn. Uh, trust me, this story is not going where you think. Um, I actually do plan on going over some of these comments, but before I do that, why don't we go ahead and take a look at some of that evidence? So this is footage of Jonathan Majors getting out of a car, the car in which the incidents took place. And here you can see him putting Grace into the car. Now this cuts out some of that. There's only a little bit in here. I'm actually going to, nope, not subtitles, playback speed. We're gonna do this slow so that we can make sure. Okay, so it's obviously, it's very grainy, you know, it's zoomed in. But here is Jonathan Majors picking her up and putting her back in the car. Now, if you see right there, it looks like that could have been where she hit her head and putting their man there, but I don't know if that's what they're alleging. However, it's my understanding that the driver was, was testifying that Grace Jabari was doing everything. Jonathan Majors was trying to get away and was putting Grace back into the car to so that she wouldn't follow him because you'll see what happens next. Here she's grabbing at his phone and he's trying to get away. He starts running and she's chasing her, chasing him. Um, now this is just little bits of the uh, of the footage. Uh, and then I think this is when Jonathan Majors calls the cops the next day when he finds her passed out. But I watched the raw footage, which I can't show here because I saw it through TMZ and TMZ will absolutely copyright claim me. But Grace chases him for about two blocks. Like there is quite a bit of running that she's chasing him down for. And that puts into question her her uh, narrative of the night that she's chasing after him. And I want to talk about that because I think it's entirely possible her narrative of what happened this night uh, was in fact fraudulent. But I still think Jonathan Majors is an abuser. And I think it's those text messages that go back to September of last year in which they clearly are talking about her going to the hospital and lying to the hospital about how she got a head injury because she's covering for Jonathan Majors. We've got, there's actually here and we're gonna hear audio here. I'm a great man, a great man. I am doing great things, not just for me, but for my, for my culture. That is actually the position I'm in. Grace has to be in a certain mindset to support Coretta Scott King. You know who that is? That's Martin Luther King's wife. Michelle Obama, Barack Obama's wife. So what we saw, what I covered in my previous video, was what showed to me to be a man who has 
tendencies of megalomania who sees himself as a new Martin Luther King and wants his woman to be Michelle to his Barack. And if she is not behaving in the way that he likes, then he's going to do things to control her. Now, we saw him threaten suicide in those text messages. So I think ultimately what would have happened here is that this assault, as we saw it, may not in fact have been what Grace Jabari said it was. Grace, actually, I, I'm not... I'm not sure if the footage is in this video. I might have to find another one. But there is footage of Grace after... I think this is it. No, where is it? No, this is footage of them finding her in the apartment afterward. But uh, there was footage of Grace hanging out outside of her apartment with some strangers after the alleged assault that she then went and went clubbing with that night and got very drunk and woke up the next morning, collapsed in a walk-in closet in Jonathan Major's apartment. So the narrative a lot of people are spinning, the narrative that the uh, defense is spinning, is that she was not injured in the assault and that she uh, went out to get drunk and collapsed because she was too drunk in uh, Jonathan Major's apartment, it sustained her injuries there, and is just using it to blame Jonathan Majors. And that very well could be. I don't know. But what I see is a woman who was very clearly in a controlling relationship. Very clearly in a controlling relationship from those text messages. You don't get away from that. And she maybe saw an opportunity. So did she lie to the police? Quite possibly. Did she see it as an, the only opportunity that she had to get out? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not in her head. As we all remember, even those of us who didn't pay close attention to the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, right? They were both pretty toxic people in that trial, in that relationship. And when you are in a long-term abusive situation, sometimes you're going to respond in ways that are bad to abuse. Nobody is going to act like a perfect person. I don't think that means that you should file false police reports. Absolutely not. And I don't know what this says for everything else, but I do know that those leaked text messages, the ones entered into evidence from September, paint a pretty clear picture that no, Jonathan Majors has been abusing her for a while. And even if this specific instance wasn't instigated by him, that it's clear he's still an abusive person. Rolling Stone had an article back in June it says, Jonathan Majors' extreme abuse allegedly goes back nearly a decade. Majors was abusive with his partners, aggressive on sets, and a source of toxicity at Yale. Two dozen sources tell Rolling Stone Majors vehemently denies all accusations. And it, when, when people are like this and you have like multiple people saying, oh, yeah, 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 no, he's always been like this. And uh, I'm not going to go over this whole article, but there is one very specific thing that I need to point out. As part of Major's legal team's response to Rolling Stone's request for comment on the abuse allegations, his attorney sent six character witness statements from women who Majors had dated or was close with. Major's attorney noted in his statement that Rolling Stone was provided statements from Mr. Major's actual past romantic partners attesting to his character and the falsity of the charges, but Rolling Stone purposefully ignored those facts and red flags and published the false charges anyway. In fact, Rolling Stone reached out to all six people. Three say they never gave Major's team permission to release such statements. Another woman declines to share the statement credited to her by Major's team, saying it was pre-written, not truthful, and that she had never approved of its release. One did not respond to a request for comment. Only one woman consented to making her statement public, Haley Carter, a woman whom Majors dated from age 13 to 18. Described Majors as sweet, kind, and gentle in a message drafted in late March. So, a high school girlfriend. That's, that's their character witness, is a high school girlfriend. So, I still think he's an abuser. And I think that even if he's acquitted of this, right now the jury is currently uh, deliberating. They uh, are breaking for the weekend, obviously, and they'll be back on Monday. And we're, we'll, we'll see how long it takes them to deliberate. The fact that they've been deliberating for two days, though, it means there's, there's you know, there's, there's some question. Like, if, if it was a clear-cut case for them that he was the one at fault, I don't think it would have taken them two days. He may not have specifically done the exact actions in the Grace Jabari uh, uh, alleged assault in March. Grace Jabari may very well have filed false charges against him in March. And uh, I can't condone that. But I can understand somebody who has been in an abusive situation seeing an opportunity to get out and trying to take it. With that being said, why don't we take a look at some of the comments? Now, I want you to know 
For the record, I have been getting a lot of abusive comments here, and I haven't deleted a one of them. In fact, I went through and I was looking to see ones that had uh, been filtered out for being, uh, you know, potentially rule violating or abusive or whatnot. And I manually approved those because I want you to see all of these comments. I want them all to be here. We're going to go over them. <laughs> uh, there's a couple genres of comments I'm getting. Uh, K the Barbarian says there is zero evidence of abuse, just hearsay from one person in which video evidence shows isn't true. Trying to punish him for perceived abuse in the past is abhorrent. Well, punishing him in terms of being found guilty in this case, I would agree. I don't think that the texts from September should be used uh, necessarily to say, oh, he should be charged for this one because he did an assault in September. But I think the existence of those texts and the fact that he is not contesting the veracity of those texts, those texts alone damn him. So even if he's acquitted, I still think Marvel should fire him. I don't want that guy running, being the main character of the MCU for the next couple years. But let's take a look. Okay, so a couple of these, these were some of the ones that were before it blew up in the algorithm. Again, it went here. Actually, let me see if I can pull up my analytics for the video. Here is the analytics for the video. You can see for the first two days, it got, okay, it got like 100 views. And then Thursday morning, which is right after the footage of Grace Jabari chasing after Jonathan Majors was released to the public. Again, this video came out before that video was released to the public. That's when it really picked up in the algorithm. So a lot of what people were saying I wasn't covering was stuff that I didn't have access to. Nobody had access to yet because it hadn't been released. It was only being reported on within the courtroom. But I do think it's relevant because it does change things. So like I said, I left all these comments up for a reason. I, I want to, I want these comments to stand here. Um, if I fucked up, uh, Kay the Barbarian says the text have no context. She simply talks about a head injury and for some reason wants prescription grain painkillers to alleviate said pain. Her friend said she's known to do pills with alcohol. Well, sure. Yeah, it sounds like she does have an alcohol uh, abuse symptom, but why don't I go ahead and pull up those texts? Sure. The first of these messages sent by Majors to Jabari in September 2022 seemingly threatens her if she chooses to go to the hospital. I fear you have no perspective of what could happen if you go to the hospital, he begins. They will ask you questions and I say, don't think you actually protect us. It could lead to an investigation even if you do lie and they suspect something. He's covering something up. He says, even if you do lie, they suspect something lead to an investigation. Investigate what? That she's doing pills and alcohol? Why would he be concerned about that? That doesn't implicate him, that just shows that she's got a substance abuse problem. She says, I will tell the doctor I bumped my head. I will tell the doctor I bumped my head if I go. I'm going to give it one more day, but I can't sleep and I need some stronger painkillers. That's all. Why would I tell them what really happened when it's clear I want to be with you? So they're covering something up. And what do you think they're covering up, Kay the Barbarian? Again, these texts are real. And in response, Jonathan Majors is threatening to kill himself over it over her saying, I'm going to the hospital. He's threatening to kill himself because she wants to go to the hospital. That right there is an abusive dynamic. Like these texts, I don't I don't know that you understand that, but these texts alone are Jonathan Majors being abusive. Do, are, are you still there? Do you get that? Why don't I go back? Let's read the comments. <laughs> okay, so early one, early on, we've just got, you know, my normal commenters. Actually, let's see if we can get the text larger. Yes, we can. Let's go. Okay. So early one, engagement for the engagement god. The MCU already established that variants can be played by different actors, such as with Spider-Man, so there's no reason to keep majors. It's a shame because he's a fantastic actor. I tend to agree. I do think that Jonathan Major's performance as Victor Timely and Loki wasn't that great. I thought it was far too stagey for, for a uh for a TV show, but you know how it goes. Um but then we start uh, let's see. Uh, it will never not be funny to me that Marvel had the easiest opportunity. Okay, so all of this is just talking about recasting Kang, recasting Jonathan Majors. Uh, but, and then, yeah, MC is already recast. Now, here we go. So, because all of this was like two days ago. Now, a couple of these are more recent, but they're still talking about the idea of recasting him. Here we go. One day ago, when it blew up in the algorithm yesterday, I hope they ban your channel for spreading falsehood. Need to see all of these attention whores. I second this, I concur. 
Uh, Fallen Gemini says, what I find frustrating is that a lot of people who want Majors innocent is because they want him to continue playing Kang that is so short-sighted. Uh, you know, I don't actually see people explicitly saying that in these replies, but yeah, I can understand that. Uh, Kay the Barbarian says, I have zero idea. They literally redacted her entire paragraph preceding this statement. If we listen to their argument in September, it's about her getting really drunk and he doesn't even yell at her. Kay the Barbarian, he said he was going to kill himself if she went to the hospital. I don't think you understand that threatening to kill yourself if your partner is seeking medical attention is an abuse tactic. Despite her recording him without his knowledge. Okay, we can... We can talk about that at another time. We're talking about what is being presented here that Jonathan Majors is not disputing. Believe you me, they tried really hard to get the September texts not to be submitted as evidence. They tried really hard. And if their contention was that they weren't real, that they weren't legitimate, they would have said so. They haven't contested the legitimacy of these texts at all. Okay, let's see. It's really sad that this creator clearly hasn't watched any of the trial, especially given the abundance of evidence exonerating majors. Uh, he's probably a raging racist. Okay, so there's a couple of different factions that I've been seeing in the comments. Some of them seem to be garden variety, um, fandom menace adjacent types. Some of them seem to be in on this um, because they perceive a black man being accused of something by a white woman. And I definitely understand that. I'm very sympathetic to that. And uh, there's there's a, there's also some people who are just homophobic toward me. I, and I left those up too. But yeah, uh, this is the dumbest video compilation I think I've seen. Respectfully, I've only watched about three minutes. Yeah, that sounds about right. The, um, the average view count for this video was actually like on the first day, it had the average view count was like, or view time was six minutes. And now it's like, almost below three minutes. <laughs> so that tells you how much people are actually watching of my coverage before they jump in and assume. Hey, the Barbarian says that's not what he said. He told her he was unhappy during the September fight. He said he wanted to commit suicide. It wasn't in regards to her going to the hospital. They were arguing for days. Well, sure, let's go back to it. Actually, I know I had seen like they had released the actual like screenshots of it. People Magazine, here we go. Sure, let's, let's verify that because if I'm wrong here, uh, now, we do have redacted stuff here. We don't know what all of this is. But she says, I will not go to the doctor if you don't feel safe with me doing so or don't trust me to. I promise I would never mention you, but I understand your fear. You can't reject love if there's no real love. It's just lip service. I gave you love last night and this morning before I got out of bed. When you got up, you were not full of love at all. I didn't feel it at all. You could have just given me a hug or walked close to me or asked if you could give me a hug, not the other way around. It works both ways. I will probably kill mill myself kill myself is it's a typo k and m are right next to each other uh it's not really contemplating anymore i'm a monster a horrible man not capable of love i'm killing myself soon i've already put things in motion okay so because we don't know what's redacted here you're, you're right it is not 100 indirect response to her saying i'm going to the doctor but she is saying i will not go to the doctor if you don't feel safe with me doing so or don't trust me to and he replies to that whole message by saying, I'm probably going to kill myself. It's not contemplating anymore. And I, I, I don't know if you know this, but threatening to kill yourself to your partner in general is often an abuse tactic. Like doing that to manipulate them into behaving the way that you want. That is an abuse tactic. This right here, I'm going to like, even if you just read this text on its own and say that he's not talking about her going to the hospital and say that he's upset because she didn't hug him in the morning and he's going to kill himself because she didn't hug him in the morning. That's abuse. So back to the messages. I agree with you. This is the dumbest video compilation I think I've seen. Respectfully, I only watched about three minutes of it and heard something ridiculous. It's psychotic to call yourself a great man. P great man. People are constantly telling this man that he is a great man. Originally, you state that this man is a rising star in Hollywood that had his accolades even reach Marvel, which is Disney. So he's supposed to be the next Thanos. Yet you say that it's weird that he calls himself a great man. Yes, actually, people who call themselves great men usually are overcompensating for something like that's megalomania. OK, there are a lot of people who I would say are really good men. I would never want to describe somebody as a great man because that is putting yourself on another level. And like, he's not changing the world, okay? He's an actor. He's not a civil rights activist. He's an actor. He thinks he's a great man because he is in big movies, okay? 
that's megalomania. Believe me, I've seen this shit. I was an actor for a long time. And then somebody that says, have you ever heard the term behind every great man is a great woman? Yeah, that's that's a sexist attitude. That's all Jonathan Majors may have been stating, but this creator wants to build a negative perspective. Yeah. Uh, my problem is you're just coming from another YouTube channel that tells you he is innocent. I doubt you have done any personal research into the trial. What do you expect from someone named Gayfesh? True! I am a Gayfesh. I'm watching him, uh, the video of him running away from an assailant. I'm reading testimony of the driver saying she was the aggressor and putting hands on him. I am seeing how every other witness to his abuse never showed up. Okay. Uh, why lie? There's video evidence. This video isn't going to age well. I think you should release an edit. The video of him chasing her out is out. It did not age. It was stupid. Yeah, she was chasing him out. Uh, you mean the video of her chasing him? Yeah. Um. Somebody said, uh, oh, sorry, I was in the sunken place. PTSD from the IRL scene from Get Out, that took place. Okay, so they, they, miss, they misspoke. Okay. Uh, what if he was serious? I can see it being uh, emotional abuse, but okay, even if you're being serious, even if you are genuinely feeling suicidal, saying, if you don't hug me, I'm going to kill myself, is still abuse. You can be genuinely suicidal and still weaponize that against other people. That's still possible. This was intellectually dishonest. Tell me you're a male Karen without telling me you're a male Karen. You have zero credibility. Here we are. Oh, hey, and it's that person from before, the yummy nom nom 123. He is an LGBT, LGBTQRTZ person. Like, of course, he doesn't live in reality. There's a video of this crazy bitch chasing this man several blocks, and then she later breaks into his apartment ODing. Okay, I. She didn't break into his apartment, they were sharing an apartment. They broke up that night. Jonathan Majors went and got a hotel for the night. She didn't break in. That's her place. Uh, he called the police thinking she's trying to kill herself in his residence to haunt him. Like, give a black man a break. For the first time in a long time, he's completely innocent. This is basically get out in IRL. I can sympathize now that I have seen the video of her chasing him for several blocks. Now, I still can't. I still don't know what happened inside the car. All we have is her testimony. Uh, I don't know that Jonathan Majors himself testified in the case, but the driver said that she was the one doing it all. So uh, I can I can sympathize, but let's not say that she broke into his apartment. It was their apartment. She was living with him. Now post an updated video about the new video. That's what I'm doing. Clearly haven't been watching the trial. I will admit I was looking at headlines. I was pulling them up and looking at the evidence that those uh, uh, articles were presenting to me. And again, this video came out before that video evidence was out. Racist ass queen, get the fuck out of here. Hopefully with this blunder, you will never have a successful channel. Crazy, can you just make this baseless content with all the damning evidence that defends him? This did not age well. Sassy white boy talking out yo ass SMH, delete this. KKK, he does have Klansman level intelligence, super low IQ. <laughs> Uh, Kay the Barbarian says, that's not what he said, though. He said he didn't feel any love from her. It wasn't simply about a hug. Going off of what we now know, I believe he was right. She then accuses him of abuse after a night of partying. Okay, even if somebody is emotionally withholding to you, you don't solve that by threatening to kill yourself. Here, let me see. I'm just going to skim over some of these. Uh, a lot of people are saying he's innocent. By the way, a lot of these people are saying he's innocent, but also innocent until proven guilty. Innocent until proven guilty is for the courts to decide. This is me giving my opinion based on what I have seen. Now, obviously, I hadn't seen the video footage. My opinion on that has changed. Uh, now, I'm not sure about the incident in question in March, but... Uh, don't talk about things if you're not going to do the work and report all information. Use your brain common sense. Again, I didn't have access to that video footage until two days after I put the video out. Pray you and your channel fails. Lots of people hoping that my channel fails. I think like I saw somebody saying they were reporting my channel. You're obviously not following the trial. Where do you get your sideways news from? I mean, like this person obviously didn't watch the video because you, they can see exactly where I got the news from because I was showing the articles on screen. Uh, you haven't done any research on the facts of this case beyond mainstream media headlines, very ill-informed, uneducated, and biased take on the case. Now, I noticed that a lot of these people are saying you're just going with the mainstream uh, opinion. You haven't done any research. So many people, when, when people go out and say you haven't done your research without providing anything, and they're like, oh, you're just following what the mainstream says and you're not doing your own research, that's a huge red flag for me. That's telling me that people are generally getting their information from right-wing fandom menace adjacent style sources, right? 
In all honesty, if you want this channel to succeed, I recommend sticking to the facts. You aren't going to gain followers like this. You have a chance to do some homework and release an update video. This is horrendously inaccurate reporting. Well, I am updating it with the information that I have now. Kay the Barbarian says, could she just be unbearable? She seems to fake passing out in the closet, which to me shows a truly dishonest person. Um, I don't know. Uh, that's not, I didn't get the impression that she had faked passing out in the closet from there. Like I said, it's entirely possible that she fabricated uh, or misremembered or just straight up lied uh, about the March incident. I still think Jonathan Majors has a long history, as reported by the Rolling Stone, of abusive tendencies. And a lot of the character stuff that has been submitted in the court shows him to be a megalomaniacal controlling person who threatens suicide as a control tactic. This man is an abusive person. You suck. From the get-go, I knew what this guy was going to be peddling. I wonder what they mean by that. So you're gay and stupid? Yes, true. I'm going to like that one. <laughs> um, I clicked on this video to see how the Jabari supporters are rebutting the new evidence showing Majors Innocence. Okay, right here. Um, I'm not a Jabari supporter. I don't know who Grace Jabari is. I had never heard of her until this happened. I was just looking at the evidence that I had presented to me and people are assuming, oh, well, I, I'm a Grace Jabari fan. Like, I, I don't fucking know her. <laughs> um, honestly, I went into this hoping that jo Jonathan Majors was innocent because as an MCU fanboy, like, wouldn't that be the ideal? Like, he's the new villain for like the next couple uh, years of Marvel movies. Wouldn't I want him to be innocent? I just, I don't see it. I can't, I've looked at, uh, at uh, what the uh, evidence is out there and it, it paints a picture to me of a serially abusive, megalomaniacal man. Don't mind me, I'm just here in the comments waiting to see everyone rip the poster a new one. Oh, they definitely are. This is what has happened to black men for hundreds of years. Despite any and all evidence, he is guilty. Her tears mean he is guilty. I can, I can sympathize with this perspective and I even made mention of it in my video that I have to be aware that there is a racial dynamic in play. And I am a white man and I need to be aware of that as well. Channel has barely has a thousand subscribers, not surprising after watching this. Hey, my channel's growing. I'm doing good. I actually literally just got a monetization like a couple weeks ago. I'm doing pretty well, I think. K the Barbarian says, all actors have an extreme ego. I haven't seen one that doesn't. N no offense, K the Barbarian, but have you ever acted? Because I have, and I can tell you, no, they don't. Not all of them, no. And we have the text messages showing him being abusive and the audio recordings of him being megalomaniacal and controlling. If you've got something new, we can go with there. Otherwise, let's continue. You're an idiot. How hard is it to do a little research? Again, that video was not out yet. You just want clicks and views. I mean, that's part of the game. I am talking about something that is in the news, but I'm also talking about something that, you know, I have opinions on. It's my channel and I'm going to give my opinions on it. Uh, VCC TV said, I remember when Fesh didn't even have a dozen subscribers. Well, oh, VCC TV, you are an OG. Uh, you can't see it right now because I don't have the emote for it or I don't have uh, the um, the pose for it, but I am saluting you. If this is going to court, remember Johnny Depp, OK? And this one I felt like I wanted to respond. I do remember Johnny Depp. I remember how after his fans paid to unseal the evidence, it revealed how much worse he was. So chastising your partner for coming in your house, personal space, extremely drunk, etc., equally controlling. Um, I don't know, but I also know that Jonathan Majors has more money and more power in this situation. There, there are there are dynamics at play in that he is a famous, successful actor and she is a dancer. White males hate women and minorities in the Marvel Universe. They hate the metahumans can be people other than Captain America and Bruce Banner. I don't think this is fair at all. And I don't think this person knows who I am at all. I have been defending Brie Larson for a very long time. One of my most popular videos is tearing into a guy from the fandom menace. So I don't think this this person has me completely misread in that regard. OK, no, I, I quite like women and minorities in the Marvel Universe. I support them. I literally had a video just last week where I said that Miles Morales is Spider-Man. Case shows he was abused. He restrained her and ran away, which men are instructed to do when hit by women. That is what the video seems to indicate. Which trial have you been watching? Uh, you're lying. You owe this man an apology. You're lost in the sauce. 
You can call Major the narcissist, but all evidence points to his girlfriend being both a stalker and an abuser to him. A stalker? I, I haven't seen any evidence of her being a stalker. Uh, Kay says, most men have more money and more power, especially physical. By this standard, you're painting all men as abusive. My girlfriend has yelled at me for doing dumb shit. It doesn't mean she's abusive. No, I'm not talking about yelling. Has your girlfriend ever threatened to kill herself because you weren't, you know, doing something she wanted? PCC TV says shadow boxing. Well, it's, you know, it's it's fine. I, I'm happy to have somebody that I disagree with in chat. I'm, I'm glad to be able to have this back and forth. Uh, Chainsaw says, uh, people who unironically use the words male and female to essentialize a person's uh, um, personality make me grow a big rubbery one. <laughs> you must have an IQ of three or four. All the evidence showed he was not guilty. Ki uh, kids like you are the reason people Amber Heard got away with what she did for so long, believing the women looking for payouts. This is defamation and majors could sue you if you really wanted to, punk. Can tell by your name and you're one of these wokies, non-binary, they, them. Hey, we've got the transphobia, which is funny because I'm a cis guy however i'm a cis guy with it pronouns yeah i, I reply saying i'm actually he it and they say no you're only a he slash boy you were born with the penis nothing else <laughs> two out of three in every billion humans are born with both and you was not it's actually more than that but yeah no i'm not i never claimed to be intersex i never claimed to be trans i'm just saying my pronouns are he and it <laughs> Kay the Barbarian says, yes, she's a stalker, chasing a man for five blocks and then calling him 32 times when he doesn't answer his harassment. If a man did that, we tell that woman to stay away from him. Okay, that's not what a stalker is. They were dating at the time. They had a fight. Like, nobody's disputing the fact that they had a fight. They're disputing who started the fight and who was the aggressor in the fight. She chased him several blocks out of the car from the fight as his girlfriend that is not a stalker calling him 32 times after that after they had a fight is not what a, is not a stalker a stalker is somebody who over a prolonged period of time engages in a one-sided relationship with somebody where they are watching them from a distance showing up at their house unannounced it's not just somebody who has just had a fight with their boyfriend and broken up that night doing that that's not stalker behavior it has to be something prolonged so like if it went on after that if she started harassing him after they broke up and was doing stuff like that then you'd have a case but i would need to see that and if that exists i haven't seen it if you know the evidence there then okay but it, but no i'm sorry that's not what a stalker is isn't he supposed to be innocent or you just chose to ignore that i am not the court in fact, you're ignoring everyone who is telling you that you are spreading misinformation, but liking comments in between those telling that you obviously haven't seen any of the trial that will exonerate my majors is disgusting. Well, you haven't seen the trial because the trial is not televised. You've been watching other people do coverage of it, and those people are using news articles to get the information for the coverage of it. Same as me. Slander, lies, and defamatory ignorance. Uh, again, everything that I was reporting on was stuff that I saw from other news articles, and anything that I asserted beyond that was my opinion, which therefore cannot be slander, because I was not asserting factual knowledge of any of these things. This is my opinion. This is my channel. Uh, your trash. Your ratio and ignorance knows no bounds. I, I am getting ratioed pretty badly. I will admit that one. You must be a far left culty to be this misinformed. I think I can gather what kind of person this is. Just I'm just here to read some literature. Hey, you know what, buddy? Right now, me too. <laughs> uh, get your facts straight and stop spreading misinformation. Uh, let's see. If there is other information that proves what these text messages are false, then let's see them. However, what he read is very hard to overlook. If there is evidence that shows this in a different light, give citation to it. Don't just claim it is because of a white woman. A white woman didn't say that rant, nor does it look good for this young man, but every... Oh, it gets cut off there. Am I far left or far right? Did I ever Did we ever decide? I mean, I, I'm, I, I like good things and I hate bad things. I think that generally puts you on the left. Surprise, surprise, gay dude blindly takes woman's side regardless of evidence. You're no better than Ryan Cannell and that garbage creator Nerdrotic. It's sad that your garbage content goes right along with them. You, sir, is trash. Isn't Nerdrotic, like, literally one of the fandom menace types? Like, I, I don't know a lot of these people, but, like, I, I seem to remember Nerdrotic is, like, alt-right adjacent or something like that. I, I, again, if I'm wrong, please somebody correct me. I, I don't want to be spreading. I'm just, I was, I'm asking. Calling someone a narcissist with little basis whom you barely know is ignorant. Now, 
I had this pulled up before I started, so let me refresh because I bet there's probably more since then. Yep, a couple more. I owe this man an apology. Oh, uh, that was five hours ago. It was first. Here we go. Yeah, go ahead and delete this video. I'm sick and tired of people like this. Let's get this man account completely banned, especially all this false information. Yeah, no, I will go ahead and remove this one because, no, I'm not going to let people just say I should have my account banned. So that's the one I'm removing. There you go. You got one. <laughs> uh, a Fallen Gemini says, yeah, Nerd Roddick is part of the Phantom Menace. Okay. Uh, Nerd Roddick is Phantom Menace, source Fallen Gemini. There's my citation. It's on screen. You can see it. <laughs> Calling someone a narcissist with little basis whom you barely know is ignorant. Okay, I if I said the word narcissist, I would say that the behaviors that he is exhibiting are narcissistic. I don't know if I specifically called him a narcissist. If I did, that was not like a diagnosis or anything like that. That was just me recognizing behavior and calling it that. I am not his therapist. I'm not anybody's therapist. I am not looking to diagnose somebody. I am just calling the behavior what it is. Okay, the Barbarian says, so pretending you're passed out when we have evidence you were texting a friend 13 minutes prior when Jonathan was banging on the door isn't a sign of nefarious behavior. Um, I haven't seen any evidence of this whatsoever. Do you do you have uh, somewhere I can look that up? Because that's, that's very interesting. I, I would be very interested to see where that evidence is. She then was asked 19 times if he did anything and she sh said she couldn't remember. Yes, I know her, her, her testimony has been very inconsistent, but this is the first that I've heard that she was texting 13 minutes before she was found on the floor. Do you, do you have that? Because I haven't seen uh, any mainstream uh, news coverage of that. They said this was her WhatsApp messages. Oh, well, who's they? I mean, like, wh where are you getting this information from? Because I would like to look this up. Like, if you've got a source for it, obviously you can't post links. Um, but if you can tell me, like, uh, what what uh, website had it, if you've got something that I can go on, because I, I would I would like to investigate this if that's the, if that's true. Anyway, I have caught up all on the uh, comments again. Twenty three likes, one hundred forty nine dislikes. Yeah, this uh, <laughs> this is probably going to be one of my bigger ratios for a while. Yeah, Dragon Eye Dragonborn says you need to bring the source. If not, then you just made it up. Bring source of your claim. Yeah, that's the, that's an issue that I was taking with a lot of these people is that they're just saying that I'm wrong. They're saying I haven't done the research, but they're not providing me anything to go on other than saying I'm wrong and I'm lying. But I think I've got a couple more articles here. Yeah, let's go ahead and see where we are, where the uh, the case currently stands, because uh, Jonathan Major's trial, no verdict yet. Jury to resume Monday. Let's see what Variety has to say. Now, if you take issue with Variety's coverage of this story, again, I have had my issues with Variety. Variety, The Hollywood Reporter and Deadline are all owned by the same parent company, Penske Media which also owns Dick Clark Productions, which is a member of the AMPTP. So when I was doing strike coverage, I was very aware that a lot of the articles that I was reading were coming from a company that had a financial incentive to see the writers and the actors come out on bottom in the, in the negotiations. So you need to be aware of the biases of the, uh, the news sources that you're getting. But in general, when Variety is reporting on something, they're usually doing their due diligence on it. Variety is one of the more reliable industry newspapers. So let's see what they have to say on this one. The jury in Jonathan Major's trial for alleged assaults did not reach a verdict by Friday afternoon and will continue on Monday morning. The jurors began deliberating in the late afternoon on Thursday and resumed mid-afternoon on Friday, only giving them about three hours to discuss the case. Oh, they've, so they've only had three hours total, or is that three hours on Friday? There was, I, I think I had seen in another article that uh, there was a juror who had a prior engagement they couldn't get out of in the morning, and that's why they only uh, deliberated in mid-afternoon. On Friday, Majors entered the courtroom with his legal team and girlfriend Megan Good. He kissed Good's cheek and did the same to other family members and friends who have been accompanying him. Majors was carrying a Bible, which he has carried to court every day. You know, I, obviously, this is like, of course, it's for, for image. Of course, it's for appearances. You want to come across looking the best for the court. Everyone's going to do this, whether they're innocent or guilty. So I don't even know why this article, why this 
mentions it because like it doesn't mean anything coming into the courtroom carrying a bible okay uh after resuming del deliberations the jury asked to replay major's 911 911 call that he made the morning after the alleged assault when he found his ex-girlfriend grace jabari unresponsive on the floor of a walk-in closet in the apartment they had shared they also rewatched a portion of a security video that showed majors and jabari exiting the car in which the alleged assault occurred jabari accused the actor of assaulting her in the backseat of a private car and meant oh we, we can skim over this because we've uh, we've been covering it uh but yeah she's she said she took major's phone to read a text message from another woman he forcefully retrieved it jabari said this caused bruising swelling and excruciating pain in her right middle finger which was determined to be fractured when she went to a hospital the next day when the two briefly exited the car, Jabari alleged that Major struck her on the back of her head and attempted to push her back into the vehicle. Now, we did see that he picked her up and put her back in the vehicle, and it did look like her head bumped against the top of the door frame. So that's entirely possible that that's where the gash behind her ear showed up, uh, which Jabari claimed resulted in a cut behind her right ear. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. The finger itself, I don't know, because uh, she there was footage of her afterward where she didn't seem to be. And it, again, it could have been adrenaline, but she didn't seem to she seems to be using it. Like, I think she, uh, there was footage of her like on her phone or holding something and she didn't seem to like be sticking that finger out or anything like that, like you would if it was, you know, broken uh, at the time. So it, it's it's hard to say. Uh, Kay the Barbarian says he's carried a Bible to set even when he was with Jabari. That's context you're missing. Okay, well, sure. Dude's a Christian. That's fine. I'm just saying that if you carry a Bible to court every single day, you aren't just doing that because you're somebody who always carries a Bible. You are also doing it for, to present the appearance that you're a person who always carries around a Bible. After the incident in the car, Jabari met three strangers on the street in Manhattan's Lower East Side and told them what had happened. They consoled her, invited her to a party in Lucy's nightclub. She testified that she joined them because she didn't want to be alone. Later at the party, she said one of her new friends gave her ice from a drink bucket to apply to her finger, which was causing her pain. Jabari later returned home and claimed that she couldn't sleep due to the pain she was in and took two sleeping pills to fall asleep. When she woke up in the morning, she found herself on the floor of the closet, unsure how she got there. Majors later arrived. Okay, yeah, again, this is just recapping what we've seen. Prosecutors have alleged that Majors manipulated and uh, exerted control over... Uh, Jabari in and oh actually no I don't want to skip over this majors later arrived to the apartment called 911 thinking Jabari had overdosed or committed suicide NYPD officers arrived to the scene and didn't find evidence to support either claim they arrested majors for alleged assault now uh Jabari also at one point had been arrested as well but they released her and declined to prosecute Prosecutors have alleged that Majors manipulated and exerted control over Jabari in an abusive relationship. The defense repeatedly called Jabari a liar and has claimed that she was drunk after going to the club and injured herself at the apartment. Actually, this one's pretty light on details. This one is just recapping it, but it is variety. Uh, again, uh, Kay the Barbarian, if you have the evidence that she was texting somebody 13 minutes before they found her on the floor of Jonathan Majors' apartment, I would love to see that evidence. Uh, that 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 would be very damning evidence if you have that i'm not seeing anything come up from google sources if you've got something uh kayla barbarian says so she's not even sure how she got to the closet saying she went to sleep in the bathroom she threw up in the bed and she claimed she didn't know what happened but we're saying majors did it kate the barbarian i have already said that i think it's entirely possible that he did not do this and the video evidence seems to suggest that she was far more the aggressor that night but when I put out my last video, I did not have the, that video footage that implicated her as being more of the aggressor. But what I've asked from you, because you asserted that she was texting a friend 13 minutes before Jonathan Majors found her supposedly passed out on the floor. And if you've got that evidence, please tell me where to find it, okay? I, I want to be correct here. I want to have the truth. I want to have the facts. And if you've got something, if you've got some facts that back up uh, the Jonathan Major side, that back up more that Grace Jabari was lying about this incident, I would fucking love to see it. Anyway, unless we get that, um, that's about all we've got here. We'll see. The jury is going to resume deliberations on Monday. We'll see how much longer it takes. We'll see what the verdict is, and we'll see what Marvel decides to do with Jonathan Major's after that verdict is read. If he's read guilty, I think it's almost assured that he will be fired uh, at Marvel. But even if he's innocent, I think the texts that we've already seen from September th that demonstrate a clear pattern of abusive behavior from Jonathan Majors, I think that alone is enough 
to warrant firing him. I don't want somebody like that headlining a major blockbuster movie series. Hey, thanks for watching. Your view means a lot. Don't forget to toss me a like and subscribe and ring the bell. I stream Mondays and Fridays at 5 p.m. Pacific and Sundays at 2 p.m. So catch me live and join in on the convo. You can find all my socials in the description below. And thank you to all my patrons with a very special shout out to my whale shark tier patron Ryan D and my anemone friend tier patron Piftle Cakes. Your support means the world. Catch you next time.